On this episode of Wangle's Workshop, I'll be making a Kydex sheath for my Warncliffe knife. I'll start off by cutting the Kydex to shape, leaving roughly an extra inch all the way around the knife. And I'll just score it with a razor blade and then snap it by hand. One side of the sheath will have the belt clip built into it, so right here you'll see that I'm leaving a tab at the top of the square. Now I'll coat the blade with three layers of tape. And this is to help protect the knife while you're making the sheath, but it's also to help give it a little extra room inside the sheath to slide in and out. Now I'll set up my Kydex press, which is made from plywood, a door hinge, and some heat resistant foam. And I'll position all the pieces, the knife, and the Kydex, exactly how I want them, so that when I come over to the press while the material is hot, I know exactly how I want to lay it out, and it's ready to go. To heat the Kydex, I'll be using this pancake griddle. There are a lot of different ways of heating it, but this is a pretty simple one. Now I'll place the Kydex onto the griddle with the shiny or smooth side down, and then I'll use some heat resistance gloves to check on it until it's nice and floppy. The shiny side should go towards the inside of the sheath and the textured side should be on the outside. So make sure when you're positioning it, you're doing that. Now I'll clamp the shit out of the press and wait about 20 minutes. I should probably mention here that I forgot to add a little piece of bamboo over the tip that would create a drain hole at the end of the sheath. Now if you notice that some parts of the Kydex are slightly more like shiny or wet looking than others, that's because I actually allowed it to get slightly overheated before molding it. Um, it's just something that I need to learn from and do better on next time. Now I'm going to mark out and center punch where I will be installing the rivets. They're going to be roughly like an inch and a half apart and a quarter inch from the imprint of the blade. Now I'm going to drill all the rivet holes using a quarter inch brad point bit. Now I'm going to install the first two rivets at the tip of the knife and then I'll split the kydex apart, remove the knife and then install the rest of the rivets. Now I'm going to draw out the rough shape that I want the sheath to be. I'm going to have to adjust it for the tightness of the knife. You want the sheath to retain the knife, but you also want it to be able to be removed without too much trouble. I'm going to remove the bulk of this material with my bandsaw and then I'll fine tune it with my belt sander. Now I need to fold over the belt clip. So I use a piece of wood and I'm going to sand a groove into the piece of wood. This way that groove will sit over the knife on the sheath and then I will fold that tab over this piece. Now I'm gonna use a heating gun to heat up the tab and bend it over the wood. Now you need to be super careful when you do this not to heat up any other parts of the Kydex because you'll cause it to unmold. Now I'm going to remove two of the three layers of tape and I'm going to start working on how the knife snaps into the sheath and how easily it pulls out of it.
The knife should snap in and out of the sheath without too much difficulty, but then it should also be able to retain the knife if you turn it upside down and shake it. Here's one last look at the sheath. I'm very happy with how it came out overall, but I do see a ton of improvements that I can do. Um, the slight bit of overheating, the drain hole, definitely some of the shaping could be better. Um, but overall, I had fun making it and I'm pretty happy with it. And now, here's one that I made more recently. <laughs> I actually still forgot the drain hole. Um, however, this one's shaped a little bit better. It's a little bit more fine-tuned, um, just so you can get an idea. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload, hit that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching.